Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. I blog over at thefrugalcottage.com all about budgeting, money saving, investing and lots of things in between. And one of my most popular videos is about cash envelope stuffing using the cash envelope system. So I thought I would do a video today talking about how you can set up your own, um, what I've used and what I find better and I'll leave some links below to the products from Amazon. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So, I have been using the cash envelope system for quite a while now um, and it is by far my favourite budgeting method for variable expenses. The cash envelope system works for the variable expenses part, so obviously fixed bills do not work in the same way. 99% um, of us have bills that come out by direct debit or standing order, they need to be done electronically by the bank, so therefore that doesn't work within the cash envelope method. However, all the like everyday spending, so things like food, travel, children, all those kind of things um, fit into the cash envelope system as well as sinking funds. Now, the first thing to talk about is how to determine what you use yours for. So in your budget, you need to work out your variable expenses. So for us, we've got four cash envelopes at the moment. One is food, the second is petrol, the third is miscellaneous, so that covers everything like household-wise. We've got two cats, it covers them, anything that doesn't really fit anywhere else. Um, and the fourth one is children, we've got two children. I did have an eating out envelope and I did have a, what's the other one, a clothes envelope. But at the moment we're not using those. So you, the first thing you need to do when setting up your own cash envelope system is to work out what the envelopes you need to have in there are. So for example, if you have weekly expenses for, I don't know, yoga or something, then maybe you might want a cash envelope for those. Maybe you've got pets that you don't want to kind of lump into the miscellaneous envelope, so then you create your own. It, it is totally up to you, it's flexible. The reason why I kind of condensed ours is that we did have more to begin with. I think I started out when I first did this with eight and then found it actually a bit confusing and things like we've got two cats and the cats things could go in a different envelope and kind of combine all of it rather than having it separated out. It's completely up to you how you set those up, um, how many different cash envelopes you want to have, how many you want to keep track of. Um, I use my trusty budget planner to track my spending with my cash envelopes um, and that just makes it easy to see which ones I'm using more often. I also do a weekly check-in, um, I'll leave a link below to my last budget check-in so you can see how that works um, to, to kind of get to know which envelopes I use more often and which ones I don't. So and, and, and going back to the cat one, the cat one was used very rarely so therefore I decided to to merge everything together, to have less cash envelopes, cash envelopes to kind of keep track of if you like. But it is up to you how many you have and that's the first thing you need to do when setting up your cash envelope system. The second thing you need to decide on is just how you are going to store these. So when I first started out using a cash envelope system, I made my own designs. They are available on my site, I'll leave a link below to that. Um, and really enjoyed um, being able to just kind of print them out, get them set up, and I was ready to go. Um, and I've got an example of these here. So these stripy ones, um, so they, they were in different colours, so I could see easily which ones I wanted, uh, which ones were for which. There are six, they've all got a bit muddled. So there were six here. Are there? One, two, three, four, three. Um, Six different, so the categories, so petrol, children, miscellaneous, clothes, eating out, and food are just the same. Um, but starting off with a paper version of the envelopes was a really good starting point. It meant that I could work out just how I wanted them to, to kind of to look and, and the categories. So I, I left a blank thing here so I could fill in my own categories on them. You can if you want to print these out. And the reason why I made these is that these, to begin with, these envelopes fitted inside my purse or wallet if you're American. Um, these would slot into my purse um, quite easily, they wouldn't get in the way, um, I, like I could still close my own purse and have them kind of sat in there and they're very easy to, to deal with. About maybe four months in of using these, because honestly I really did like the, this system, 
Um, I found that if I was getting a lot of coins, then they didn't work quite so well for that. And I either had to change how I used these or change what I used at all. Um, so to begin with, I kept these paper ones because again, I really like them. I like the colours. I like the fact that they're colourful. I like the stripes. I also had like a polka dot set as well, which is also available if you want to download those. Um, and I like the colourfulness of them. So I kept these and kept notes in these. And then every time I got anything less than um, like a 50p, so I, I 20p, 10p, 5p, 1 and 2 for um, in these, didn't stay in the in the paper cash envelopes. I then just put those in a big pot. It's actually a leftover coffee jar, but <laughs> uh, frugal. Um, but that's why um, I decided to take them out of those because I was just finding I was getting so many coins. So in, in England, anything below a five pound note is a coin. So two pound coins, one pound coins, and, and so on. We have a lot more coins than say Americans do because they have one dollar bills, for example. So they, um, in their system, um, they got more notes. Whereas I was finding I was getting more coins that just didn't um, stay in my envelopes, or I got so many of them that they, they then it was too heavy. So what I then changed to was I still used the paper envelopes. Um, but I kept all the loose changed barring 50p's, £1 coins and £2 coins in a big jar and just took that occasionally and kind of used it up um, as and when and that worked for quite a while as well I quite liked the fact that these are so neat and just stayed in my purse all the time um, and the coins that I was using were kind of the bigger coins if you like um, and so it just worked really well so as a starting point the kind of printable cash envelopes was what I used for ages and um, the only reason I ended up going away from this system was that I was finding that my coin jar, which I do still own, um, was kind of getting more and more. My cash envelopes were kind of depleting faster because I wasn't keeping everything together. So, great as a starting point. I recommend that if you're starting out with cash envelopes and you don't want to buy into kind of a bigger system, if you like, um, it's not that big. <laughs> um, then start out with some paper ones. Design your own. These are available on my site if you want to download these. Um, just use really plain envelopes that you get to mail letters and, and you know draw them. However you want to decide, try those as a starting point. But I kind of decided to change my system because of the, the coins aspect of it. So then what I decided to do, and if you're not new to my channel then you'll, you'll have seen this so many times, it is my favourite thing about budgeting, I love it, I am currently not using cash envelopes just to the current climate, climate. we've been told that cash is probably not ideal to use at the moment, I'm missing using them, it is my all time favourite budget method, but if you've not watched this before, this is my cash envelopes system, and it's just from Amazon. So is, is this A6? I think so. I'll leave a link below to the binder. So it's just like a, I guess like a file of facts. What I like is that it does have space for cards. So if you want to take cards, loyalty cards, whatever you can do. Um, and then the envelopes themselves, they come as a pack of 12 and they look like this. Now the difference between these and the paper ones, you know, it should be fairly obvious. So these are plastic for a start, but they, they're more robust because they're plastic, but more importantly, they have a zip, they are enclosed. So all the coins that I was getting fit in these more, um, I could get more in there, but also I could keep it closed. And that was the deal baker for me, I think. Um, don't get me wrong, like I said, the paper ones were a great starting point, and if you're starting out, I do recommend as a trial and error for the first month, using those first and see how you get on. You might find you don't really like the cash envelope system, so then purchasing a binder, envelopes, whatever, is a more expensive way than just downloading the, the paper ones and cutting them out. But I decided to change to these because um, I could design my own little inserts to say what they were, so then they're not as colourful as these. I do miss the fact that these are more colourful. And when you open your purse wallet, um, you could see straight away without having to take them out which one was which because I knew that eating out was the green envelope. However, 
these have worked better for me since that point. So if you are someone who finds themselves with loads of change all the time, um, kind of doesn't know what to do with it, the plasticky envelopes, if you like, are the way to go. Now if I take mine out of here, just as, a, as an example, again if you've watched my channel before you'll know what this looks like. Um, I'll just take one out. So this is the petrol envelope. So it's the plastic envelope, it's got the zip at the top. I designed the inserts on Canva, it's a website to design things, you can do it for free. Um, and just cut them to size, so that when they're in my binder, I'll put them back in and show you this, because it, honestly it's so, it's so straightforward, I'm not one for faff. <laughs> in my binder, you can just flip through and you will then see the different ones. And then it goes on to my sinking funds. My sinking funds, talking sinking funds, are also using the cash envelope method. So I've got my veil expenses, the four of them, using these plastic things, things, <laughs> envelopes. I'll link these below by the way. These the binder and the plastic envelopes are just from Amazon. Um, they're not that expensive, they are more expensive than using the paper ones, but it's up to you what you start out with. Um, I just ordered these from Amazon, they came in like maybe like a week, um, and then designed the little inserts, put them out, ready to go. My sinking funds are the same system. I'll leave a link below to the sinking funds video that I've done and how I set mine up, feel free to watch that. But essentially the idea is the same, so they're, they're plastic cash envelopes, I add to those as and when, although again at the moment I'm not because I'm not using cash. Oh, I miss using my system. I find that, that I think one of the most difficult things is not using the system that has worked for me for so long. However, setting this up and being ready, and if you're still using cash, then you know it doesn't matter. Sinking funds are exactly the same. So I think, do I have four at the moment? I think I have four. And in a normal scenario, I'd be adding to those as well. And, and just the same thing, because they're in a plastic wallet, plastic envelope, uh, just get zipped in and they are safe like this. So for example, <laughs> uh, one of my sinking funds is Christmas. So this is what my Christmas cash envelope looks like. Again, same idea, just, just designed the little logo in Canva, printed out, cut it down to size so it fits the envelope and, and you're ready to go. And the combination of the two, so your variable expenses and then your sinking funds together can create quite a good system for putting any spare cash into your sinking funds at the end of the week. So my system is, I, or I'm going to say normally because at the moment it isn't, normally I would um, refill my cash envelopes on a Sunday because that's when I kind of start our week, I get everything ready, do the free shop, get petrol, whatever and so on. And then on a Saturday end of the week in my week thing, I would go through my cash envelopes again and I would put any £5 notes in my £5 savings challenge uh, jar, which I'll leave a link to there as well, that's a really good savings challenge um, if you're using cash as well. I would then, if I have any change under the 50p mark, so 20p's, 10p's, 5p's, 2p's and 1p's, they still go in the coin jar but it's at the end of the week instead of continuously. And any notes that I have spare, I either roll on to the next week. So say there's £10 left in the food budget in my food envelope. I can either choose to roll it over to next week and keep it in the food envelope. Or take the £10 note out and put it in a sinking fund envelope and top it up that way. Um, the beauty of the cash envelope system is that it makes you more flexible but more in control of where your finances and where your money actually ends up and that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. Um, but the balancing act between carrying cash with you, again current climate ignored, um, and using your card is another thing that might crop up in terms of how comfortable you feel with your cash envelopes. Now I've talked about this in another video but it is up to you, some people get all their money out at the beginning of the month. So say your budget, or I use ours, our free budget for this month is £300. For some people, they get that £300 out at the start of the month and put it in the food envelope budget and that is done. Personally, I don't feel confident, comfortable, 
whatever the word is, to carry that much money around with me on my person. So what I do is I get a weekly um, amount out instead and put that in the cash envelopes. Now we have four of them um, and I do them on a Sunday morning. By the Sunday evening I spent the majority of my money in the cash envelopes because on a Sunday we do our food shop, we put petrol in the car for the week, I get all the miscellaneous stuff we might need. The only one that's probably not touched on a Sunday is the children's envelope. So I generally don't carry that much money around with us, me. Ever, because I spent it. <laughs> um, how you do a cash envelope system monthly, weekly, however, or bi-weekly, it depends how you get paid as well as how you feel about that, um, is a personal choice. It depends on how comfortable you are having that amount of money. And also, having that amount of money kind of sat in your house. So um, again, because ours is empty most of the time, it doesn't bother me but if you've got like if say you've got like six cash envelopes and the total amount that goes in those every month is like 800 pound would you be comfortable having that sat in your house again that's a personal decision um i wouldn't be not that as adds up to that at all far from it um and i do ours weekly and then it's spent pretty much on the same day so we do not have cash particularly sat in our house um but that's another thing to think about when you're setting your cash envelope system um, I would probably recommend doing it weekly, it means that you're keeping on top of your cash more as well and also it's not sat around, however um, if you do a monthly budget it might make more sense to get it all out at the start. It is Again, because this is such a flexible system it is up to you on how you do that. But the, the steps to do are, you need to make sure or work out, if you don't already know, what your variable expenses are for your budget. So I'll leave a link below actually to my zero based budget method, um, have a look at that, there's a free download to kind of work out your own, that might help you decide if you don't know. Once you've worked out your variable expenses, you then know how many of these, or indeed these, like I said I would recommend starting with the paper ones to see if it works for you, um, how many variable expense categories you think you need. Um, so these come in a pack of 12 just to let you know. <laughs> um, once you've worked out your variable expenses and the, the amount of different envelopes that you have, you then need to work out how much money you're going to put in those and when. So like I said, whether it's monthly, whether it's lots of Americans seem to get paid bi-weekly, so like two paychecks in a month, or whether you do that weekly, obviously you need to make that decision as well. Once you've made that decision and you kind of know what you're doing, you then, and this is the fun part, you then, I use these as a thing, you get to then label your cash envelopes, whatever your variable expenses are, for the, each of them. And then you decide how much goes in them. You then go, um, I just go to a bank, like a, what, not a bank, a cash machine and get money out. You can either go to the bank um, and kind of go in person and get it from, from a bank, a cashier. Or you can just go to a cash machine and get out however much you want if you're doing that weekly. If you're doing that monthly and your monthly amount I'll go back to the £800 thing, ours is nowhere near that, but it's personal circumstances. Say your variable expenses adds up to £800 in a month and you want to set it up on the first of the month and leave it to it, um, you would have to go to a bank and withdraw that in person. I don't think any bank lets you withdraw that much money out on a, on a debit card from a cash machine. 99% certain it wouldn't. So if you do that, you do need to be slightly more organised. I do mine weekly so I just go to a cash machine um, and then sort it out and believe it or not the sorting out and then putting the money in, in this um, is the best bit and I'll tell you why that is, it's because you know exactly where your money is going to go and the whole point behind the cash envelope system budget for me is the fact that I do know where it's going and I'm not tempted by just swiping my card or as I've had issues with this in the past um, purchase, purchasing things with the one click option online because believe me that is too easy to do isn't it um, the cash envelope system works so well in you really knowing how you're spending your money because there's nothing worse than having to hand over loads of money to someone else that makes that incredibly real that you're spending that much money um, sometimes it's not very nice to do so but there you go the one question that's just popped into my mind from saying that if you do lots of online purchasing um, I suggest you have like a virtual cash envelope for that 
that you kind of track as you spend it. Um, because in my mind there's no point in getting the money out and then putting it back in your bank account once you've spent it, if that makes sense. So say you um, like shopping online for, I don't know, pet supplies, we'll go with that. Um, you might have a cash envelope that has £50 a month on those, I don't know what you're buying, but you might do. Um, your virtual cash envelope starts at £50 on the first of the month and you, you monitor that and you write down it as well, even though it's not an actual cash envelope. Um, and as an aside, if you're buying things online, don't forget to use Top Cash Back to get some money back. I'll leave a link below to that. Do not miss out on free money. Um, but the cash envelope system is designed to help you monitor and help you manage and help you budget and help you budget for things that are long term like sinking funds as well. So work out your veil expenses, then the fun part of make, either making your envelopes, so printing them, cutting them out, whatever, um, or ordering things and making them that way. Um, like I said, I'll leave a link to the binder and the envelopes below. And then sorting out and using that. Um, it might be a bit awkward when you're at the, say you're at the supermarket and you're paying with cash for the first time in a cash envelope um, and the lovely person on the checkout is waiting. I used to feel really awkward about kind of um, counting out cash and stuff but honestly um, that goes so quickly and then it doesn't matter because you're in control of your finances which is the entire point. Um, but that's how you can set up your own cash envelope system. Um, I do recommend that once you set it up you then do track it um, just so you know where your money is going. Um, I track mine on pen and paper, you know, if you've watched this channel before you'll know that. I'll leave a link below to my latest um, budget update so you can see how that works. Um, but either way, make sure you track it somehow, whether it's pen and paper or an app or a spreadsheet, something that tracks where your money is going as well. Um, and that's the cash envelope system. I hope you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you're staying safe at home and I will see you again very soon.